I am in shock. I've just watched humpback whales for the last 10 minutes just breaching the water up from this viewpoint. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Where am I? <laughs> After a great road trip last week, we decided to go again. So where are we going today? We're going to Big Sur. I'm looking outside my window I try to see where my luck goes I just don't know how it's Oh wow, that looks amazing. Wow. This is so cool. What's that rock called? That's Mora. A pretty guy with a halo But who am I kidding please now I gotta realize that you Next up on this road trip is Morro Bay, and this is Morro Rock, but more importantly is we've just found the best pillow ever. This allows you to sleep anywhere. Let me put it on for you. So you put your head in like this, you put your hands in this hole, and then... <laughs> you look like Joey on the turkey episode of Friends when he gets his head stuck I in I can sleep head. anywhere! Yeah. you down and I know that I was not always around I made you feel feel alone you spent most of your nights just sitting sure yeah, that smell oh, oh, that smells so good like giving you the things you asked before and yeah, we can't come to America without getting a burger and apparently in California and the West Coast there's only one place you can go and that's In-N-Out Burger. They only have a few things on the menu, they also have like a secret menu. And today I'm going to try a Double Double Burger and apparently this is the best fast food burger I will ever have in my life. What if I'd make a scene? Work it, burger. So, here it is. Apparently the best fast food burger in America. Here it goes. Oh man, you Americans know how to do calories and this, I'll be honest, this is the best fast food burger I've ever had. Emma, what are you doing? Well, because rubbishy in and out burger doesn't do a veggie burger, I decided to make myself a wrap with salad and cheese and guacamole. Would you like fries with that? I don't have a knife so I have to use my finger. <laughs> Better than a burger. Thank you, and have a nice day. Okay, so we've stopped about 80 miles south of Big Sur. We're going to stay with Micah's cousin. Um, now we're going to hike up to the top of this mountain and watch the sunset. But I hope that you give me one more chance to make. One of my favourite things to do while travelling is just going on random little hikes. People to say, hey, I know a really cool spot that you would have never found if it wasn't for us. So I'm just wondering, what's your favourite spot? Where do you love to go that no one else really knows about? Leave it in the comments. So then I can come in there and exploit it and make it more popular with my 500 views. What if I said I'm sorry?
So you made it to the top and look at these views. We're going to sit here and watch the sunset. What, what are you doing right now? I'm filming whales, Al. What, what, what can you see? Can you see humpback whales reaching? I set out on a road that I built with my own two hands I met friends on the way, people chosen to make a stand I felt strong in the sun as I walked onto Pastor's Green Saw forgiveness together as bases in between Need to get down this hill before sunset. What a day. The best fast food hamburger I've ever had. Now that isn't really saying much because fast food hamburgers are pretty terrible, but still it was very, very good. And then we saw humpback whales while overlooking the Californian beach at sunset. Like you can't beat that. Really, really good. We're gonna go now and try and find some calamari, have a cocktail because why wouldn't you have a cocktail after a day like that? And then we're on our way to Big Sur tomorrow. Top day. Subscribe to Travel Beans. <laughs>